Hello, in this video, I'll be uh, reviewing a uh, incense called Bozuela Cartree, and it's from Somalia. This um, Bozuela Cartree is a type of frankincense, uh, one of the most, uh, one of the uh, more popular and well known variants of uh, frankincense that you can find uh, on the market nowadays. It has quite a lemony, uh, piney kind of scent, and I'll be taste, uh, you know, I'll be t uh, um, tasting some of this, and I'll be, I will be burning some of this and describing you in real time what the scent and taste is like for for this uh, particular resin. Of course, uh, for if you want to chew this particular type of frankincense, I would prefer if the granules or tears are a bit larger than these ones, if you can see. So Bozwila Cartree is uh, it has a, a couple of interesting pro uh, properties. It has anti uh, anti inflammatory properties and anti cancer properties, mostly due to its um, boswellic acid content. Although usually the um, essential oil doesn't not usually but of course the essential oils for the frankincense um, trees don't have any of the uh, boswellic acid. The resin, the oleo uh, gum resin, these ones do have the bosolic um, acid, which has a um, medicinal use. It's uh, it acts as a, as I said, anti-inflammatory or uh, NSAID, which is a non-steroidal um, anti-inflammatory drug, um, and it by reducing the inflammation in the body. And this uh, this is good for people who have arthritis, who have um, other inflammatory diseases. So Boswellia cartree can be uh, can be beneficial for the mind and uh, maybe even uh, used as a nootropic or a smart drug, depending on how you use it. For example, given that this is a anti um, an inflammatory, uh, taking some of this would uh, decrease inflammation in the brain and thereby improve your cognition. Because if you have in, uh, brain inflammation or neuroinflammation, the what what you end up uh, experiencing is brain fog and increased agitation and anger and a decrease um like uh, understanding if you will you could, like your ability to understand situations and comprehend information is significantly decreased when you have your inflammation uh, a good example would be um you know autistic uh, children who have increased levels of um, you know, neuroinflammation or brain inflammation. So now I'm gonna go ahead and light a piece of coal and go ahead and tell you what the scent profile is for the Bozoelia cartree uh, that I got from Somalia. So let's see. First thing I need to do is go ahead and heat up the coal. It might be a bit too small, but I do have more if that's a problem. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold it with my pliers. I'm going to go ahead and heat it up. When it starts sparking like that, it should uh, start. Now, it's, when it uh, starts sizzling like that, that tells you that it's already ready to go. And you do, usually the best uh, course of action is to let this become uh, like white, hot but still white, because uh, right now it's going to be really hot. And uh, when it's uh, cooler, when the coal is cooler, it's, that's the time when you should put on the incense. If it's too hot, you end up uh, burning the essential oil inside the frankincense tears. And indeed, you can check if it's uh, hot enough. If you place your hand not close to it, it doesn't seem to be burning, but actually it's producing quite a bit of heat. So it is uh, combusting, just not visible to the eye. So the, you can see the coal is more or less totally white and is ready for burning the um, you know, frankincense tear. I'll go ahead and place a, a tear of Bozoelia cartridge onto the hot um, coal piece. And let's see how it smells. Oh, that's really nice. It's like rainforest, um, but with a uh, you know a twist of lemon. It's a yeah again I uh, get that lemony uh, smell to it. It has a bit of it's it's so citrusy. It kind of reminds me of Coca Cola. I mean it's, it doesn't smell like Coca Cola, but there's some similarities in terms of its uh, sharpness of its uh, citrus uh, fragrance. 
That's very fresh. It uh, it reminds me a bit of a, like a rainforest, although a rainforest would have, would have more of a damp smell. This doesn't have that dampness. Oh, it's a, if you put your nose next to it, it's a bit too sharp. Let me see if I can uh, roll it over. There you go. So it does have a bit of that uh, fresh uh, <clears throat> rainforest citrusy scent. Uh, and yeah. So uh, I must say that uh, Bozuela uh, <laughs> Cartree is a reminiscent of uh, lemons, rainforests, uh, pine, uh, you know, the pine sap. Uh, and yeah, those are the scents that I uh, detect from it. When it, um, but the thing I find about this frankincense, and maybe I'm not, uh, maybe it's just a matter of me using too much heat. The thing that I find about this frankincense is that there's an initial boost of nice smells, but then at the end you have this, um, the gum burning up, uh, as you can see. And that doesn't have much of a good scent. It's mostly just like, uh, you know, that burning smell when you burn wood at this point, when you have um, at the end of the process. So my recommendation is to uh, uh, burn the Bozuelia cartridge frankincense tears at a low temperature. And maybe I have to wait a bit more for the for it to work for this coal. Yeah, it's burnt at this point. So one uh, subtle effect I find from... Uh, from inhaling the Bozuela Cartery uh, smoke or, you know, incense indirectly by burning it, is that it has a kind of a psychoactive, stimulating, yet relaxing effect on my mind. I feel relaxed in terms of my body disposition, but my mind feels stimulated and I feel like I can uh, focus better and um, analyze information and uh, return information a lot more easily. I can make connections a lot more clearly with uh, this Bosuela Cartery frankincense. And I do actually believe the other frankincense, other variants of frankincense that I have, this one is Maidi, this one is uh, Serata, and uh, this one is Hojari, and this one is uh, Dalzalia, I think it's called Dalzieli. Dalzieli or, uh, or Dalzalia. These frankincense, almost all frankincense variants, have a psychoactive effect and with a slightly different, uh, uh, that affect the mind in slightly different ways. This one is relaxing, the, the cartridge, so, um, Bozuela cartridge, is relaxing yet stimulating for the mind. So it's a, I, I personally find it to be like green tea, in, in the sense that green tea has caffeine, the stimulant, at the same time uh, green tea has L-theanine, which is like the, a relaxant. So the combination of a relaxant and a stimulant is very good for improving a person's cognition and focusing ability. So I will now uh, go ahead and uh, show you or describe to you what the taste of the Bozoelia cartery frankincense is like. These aren't the best frankincense tears to taste because these are so small, but I can still adequately tell you what it tastes like, even if it's a small amount. It's a bit like soda, not like baking soda, but like uh, the soft drink. Like if there was a lemony kind of uh, soft drink with a touch of honey or a lemon, with le a lemon, uh, like a lemon soft drink with a touch of honey. That's what this. Uh, that's how I would describe this. I've had um Boswellia cartridge. I have a whole bag of Boswellia cartridge before, but I can definitely tell that this sample is a higher quality than the other one. I could chew like like a lot of that. Most of the cartridge of my um, like that I bought before. Like I bought, I bought a pound of it. This stuff right over here, but it is it's not it doesn't have such a strong uh, de uh, delicious uh, taste. Like the taste profile is a lot more dampened. So I'll go ahead and show you the my previous some Bozuela cartridge I bought from before, as you can see. See. But the thing is, this cartridge is a lot more potent. Just a small piece. It tastes quite lemony. Uh, uh, 
well, slight, uh, it's not quite, but it tastes significantly lemony. It tastes a bit like honey, a bit, uh, a bit like uh, a lemon. If, if there was something like a lemon soda, it tastes like that. And let's see. It tastes very fresh. It gives a very fresh taste in your mouth. Like if you ever chewed, um, or if you ever tasted a piece of like um, pine sap. Problem is, it gets stuck to your teeth very easily, unless you chew like a big, a bunch of them together. Yeah, that's it. Um, that's uh, all there is thing. Uh, at, so that's all there is to it. Thanks for listening. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comments below. I'd appreciate it if you like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. And uh, uh, tell me, have you ever tried Bozoelia cartery before? This peculiar type of frankincense that people either chew or burn and, uh, you know, use for either psychoactive or medicinal properties or just to enjoy the fragrance. So yeah, tell me if you've tried it and bye.